Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of um, The Infernal Sky with me, Paulius1981. In Since the last episode, I've come up with a evil dastardly plan. Or something that's probably quite stupid. Basically, I am getting sick to death of these monsters in my basement. Which I believe you can see basically the down there. So I'm going to see this time. See the down there? Well, do you know what? I'm completely turned around again. I think it's over here actually. Or I could have just gone completely the wrong way. Eh, oh well, let's have an explore. What I was going to say is my plan is this time. There appears to be just one last little dark area left. Which is straight back through the... So I think my plan for this time is to do this and just charge in the head first and plant as many torches as I can before I die. And I know that this isn't exactly survival. It's not the way I'd be doing it if I was really in this situation. But, oh crap, I'm fighting a losing battle here. And I know that by this point, watching me fail over and over again is funny the first couple of times and must just slowly be getting more and more boring, so... I basically want to make it so they can't respawn. I believe that is the area. Or it may be on the other side, I don't know. So I want to make it so they, day or night, they can't respawn. I had half a stack of torches. Oh well. Any? I could have sworn. Oh, then again, I did make two stacks of torches, but then I went on that major planting torches everywhere campaign. One stack and twelve. Take these back. Sticks and those torches. I only want twelve of them. See, until I can get my hand on hands on some iron, my survivability rating in this environment is just about zero. Where the hell did you come from? <coughs> so what I'm trying to do is completely clear this place. And I know that it's essentially just a lot of suicide charges. Okay, you can't get up here, can you? And basically, I'm coming down here, killing a few, making a dent, then as soon as it's night time... Run, 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 you bastard. Don't let any creepers blow up my... Oh, crap. Uh. Okay, complete and total change of plan. And it goes like this. Fuck that underground area. Oh, hello, creepers. Because as there's creepers spawn in there, as I'm killing them off, I'm going to die. Yeah. 
Okay, it is time for me to officially stop playing like a frigging idiot. And I'm essentially killing myself over and over for a small amount of coal. So this time round we're going to do things a little bit differently. I know back near the spawn if you take the long way round there is a stockpile of gold and there's some iron. So this time rather than go underground and kill myself again I'm going to get no I'm going to leave my iron sword behind. I'm going to take half my torches and do I have a pick? No I don't. I just lost it in that last run I believe. But we got a good bit of cobble. I'll tell you what, I'm going to make three picks. Just so I don't have to keep making them. I'm going to squirrel two away for later. Put this back. And I'm going to take the rest of that cobble with me. For bridging. Because for once I'm not going to run down to my own basement and fight battles I can't possibly win. I just heard a spider. I would love to find a spider. Here we go. I'd just like to point out in real life I hate spiders and while the spiders on Minecraft are the most least convincing looking spiders in the world, the noise they make still freaks me the fuck out. See, I was fighting all that time for that little bit of coal. And I'm going to try. I can hear a skeleton. I'm going to try and play this a little bit smart. But now I appear to have found a good chunk of coal and iron rather than keep exploring and end up getting killed by something I am going to oh that's one dangerous thing about this map you keep digging down you don't hit bedrock or even a short fall you hit a long fall to instant death oh there's a spider but, as I was saying, I am going to try and play this a little bit smarter now. And actually play it like it's a survival map. There's novel. And rather than go in there and do more exploration, I'm going to do something that may be a bit more boring to watch than me die over and over again. But I'm going to take the short hop back... to th put these resources away. I also need to fill in that hole because it's driving me nutballs. Okay, is that charcoal? Because I really need to get rid of that. Iron ore, there we go. Ready the sword. And now it's actually turned into night time, so this may be stupid anyway. 
Okay, let me light up this place a little bit. That was a weird sound. Okay, what's down here? What all manner of beasties? creepers and stuff. Nothing can get me apart from the ones that can shoot. I really, really, really want a bow. More coal. Why am I trying to get coal with a sword? Yeah, once again, I know this looks like a waste of torches, but the more light, the less spawning, the less spawning, the more t le le fewer times I'm going to die. Plus, I don't know whether it's just my brightness settings, but when it gets to night time, even outside, I cannot see a damn thing. And that is something that is actually kind of critical. Is that a zombie shoot? That's not a. Oh, for God's sake. Instead of standing there saying, What is that shooting at me? Why don't I actually try and get out of the frigging way? I was wondering why that. Why there's just that little patch of. Um. much this that's why I don't like these maps <laughs> why does that just little patch of gravel right there Do you know what I'm gonna try and I don't know how far that is away at night my depth perception in this game isn't very good either I've got no um, I think building over there might be a fun prospect. But I also think I'm going to wait until daytime to do it. I really don't like being outside at night anyway. But this is basically a lighting everything up expedition. Okay. Come here, spider. Drop some string. Oh, you selfish bastard. If that dicker had dropped some string, I'd have a, be able to build a bow. Creeper, creeper, creeper. Blowing holes in the scenery again. Here we have glowstone, which makes me wonder why. I can't tell whether that was just put there to help guide you to the tree, which is another thing I really need to light up because as, oh God, don't die, don't die, don't die. Stop it, stop, select your frigging sword. Thank you. Now with one heart left, it's time to leg it back to my house. And then I might have a chance at actually cleaning out the basement. So if I'd have done that two or three episodes ago. Okay. I need sticks and my string.
the only thing is now I'm afraid to take it anywhere with me in case I lose it and I'm definitely not going to carry it with me now when all I have left is one heart and no way to fill up my health let's put the rest of that iron there coal cobble I've actually got enough for a little bit of armour now and it's raining again son of a bitch you know while I am back here and I have so much coal this is gonna be seem like a huge waste of torches and for a lot of people it probably is just that a complete waste but for someone like me with no sense of direction this tower that has the tree on it is just about the only landmark in this entire place that is instantly recognizable so I am going to waste a buttload of torches I'm also going to get this coal by lighting the thing up like a frigging Christmas tree So then, no matter where I am on the map, I really want to pick that. Well, I'm saying that I've got pretty much unlimited wood now, and I am sure that I can get more coal from here than the torches I have used to light the place up. Hold down shift so I don't fall off. maybe one there and you can see you can tell the places I've been to there's the spawn that place is lit this whole place is lit I notice you're not seeing any monsters around here now you may ask what is the point in playing a survival map if you make it so monsters can't spawn anywhere I would say, well in that case, you might as well play a first person shooter and never shoot anyone. I also want to go and explore that lava field. Because I think that right there is where I want to head to next. Because with that glowstone there it is obviously somewhere I am going to it's attract blah, blah, blah. I'll be able to speak English again in a minute that right there is obviously drawing my trying to draw my attention well anyway the sun is coming up now So let me plant a couple more torches here. And you know what? I want some more of this dirt. Because on this map, it really is kind of a precious resource. Of this place okay where was that lava field because now it is daytime <laughs> okay so there was the glowstone so I want to head which way if that's east I want to head west <clears throat> oh cock oh well Like I said, I've got my bridges now. I can get back there quick enough. And 
things are going to explode in the d oh don't blow up my bridge don't don't even notice me don't even notice me keep running away keep running away keep running away don't fall off don't fall off Did I drop anything even remotely useful? Okay, where's the sun? So I might be heading this way. I think the easiest way to get across would just be to bridge across from here. And I believe... Oh, actually... I just got a ton of there's coal. I've, this was the stuff that dropped down. There's my pick. I had got dirt, which, as I pointed out, was a very, very, very precious resource, but I'm sure there's more of it here. Okay, now. Let me put that coal in here let me get that cobble and let me mine a little bit more from over here and then that should let me that should be enough to bridge across did I pick up that cobble? yes I did some torches in any area that may be shady okay well, it's that way yes I am having to navigate using the Sun I don't care and if I build my bridge from here it should look at all of that bloody coal down there it should it's every time I build a bridge I am painfully aware that Oh crap, that was the wrong block. Damn it. That was just stupid. Now how the hell do I get back up? Oh, right through here. Yeah, now I've got my bow. I will be coming down here at some point to finish off those friggin' skeletons and light that place up. Now, as I was saying... I am becoming painfully aware that every time I build a bridge from one place to another I'm as well as just building a bridge for me to get across I'm building a bridge from my nicely lit mostly safe island over here to unlit dangerous floaty places so I figure, rather than make it a nice big bridge, the AI is so crap that, as well as having difficulty navigating the way up there, let me light this up. If they decide to come across to get me, they'll probably fall off by mistake. I'm suddenly very aware that I am completely unarmed. I need to put some torches on this this side of that thing. And maybe at some point excavate the rest of that coal. That is very interesting. I bet you the victory monuments up there are something like that. What is down here? Drop. Aha! Aha ha ha ha! We have grass! And where we have grass, 
we have farm animals. So I need to bring some dirt back here. And if I can expand this, because unfortunately I can't dig up a dirt block with grass and bring it with me. But if first of all I light my way, oh there's clay there as well. Oh you sneaky bastard. Just like to point something out here. Oh hey look, here's a nice bit of solid ground. I will plant something on it. Traps, traps, traps. Okay, now, here is my plan. I am going to go back to the house, or at least over to this area, and I'm lighting this place up because I will be coming back here a lot. How strong is brick? Because it might be worth firing some brick. And do you know what clay... Oh, 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 oh. That was stupid. Check your footing. I didn't actually mean to plant that thing there. You see, that's what I'm talking about with Vex being a proper son of a bitch. You tend to forget with Minecraft that because usually everything is randomly generated, you just go, oh look, there's some clay. I'm going to go over there and dig that up then you forget that in this particular game everything is placed specifically by some, or most things are specifically placed there so the idea here is obviously oh look some clay I'm gonna go get that and you dig it and you fall to your death you know what, I think that is enough. I'm, I'm through pushing my luck here. Not through lighting this place up like a Christmas tree though. Yeah, anyway, now that I have no longer been si sidetracked, I also want to get some of those pumpkins at some point. And given that this is the only, probably the only clay on the map, now might be a time to go put it away. I'm going to get some dirt, and grass, like mushrooms, will spread. So if I can build the equivalent of a little garden over here, we'll start to get pigs and sheep. Now, the good part about that is... Cows mean leather, which mean armor. Pigs mean food. Now, I've never made bricks before. And more importantly, sheep means wool. Which means um, I can build a bed. And building a bed means no more running from the spawn point. So I know I'm running a little bit long, but... I Oh, you've got to fire these to make bricks. And you know what? I'll do that next time, because for now, I'm coming up on 30 minutes. And I don't have any time to record another 30 minute episode today. So what I am going to do 
is very quickly oh god I always dig do you know what I'm gonna replace this with stone this may not be a bright thing to do at night you see I don't have any time to do another 30 minute episode today and I really 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 want to get this done oh that was stupid once more also need to sort out the health and safety of this place so I know right now I am taking a massive risk because if I don't do this now I'm gonna have to wait until the next time I record which I really don't want to do and I would really 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 like to get this done it's just as I've said so many times, the dirt on this map is so frigging rare that this may be just about, you know what this is, completely and totally done. I can either wait until daylight and do it simple, but dirt is too rare and getting some farmland put in where I can get some armor that is just way too important and I'm getting shot at it is just way too important a resource to rush and not get so I am going to run like hell lock myself in my house and call it a day anyway guys as always thanks for watching and it started raining as well that would have been awesome trying to um put in that cheat without dying anyway guys as always thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up or subscribe i'd really really appreciate it thanks to everyone who watches these videos regularly and if you have any comments, ideas, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. But like I said, if you've played this map yourself, please don't give me any spoilers. Don't tell me where things like the Victory Monument is. And I guess that's it. Thanks for watching and goodbye. See you next time.